So you need to know your buyer. And in order to do that, you need to get validation on a number of things. You need to understand where they are as a company uh, in terms of turnover, in terms of performance, I mean, who they are and what the strengths are. Because you may want to understand, you know, what will, you know, your company, your entity be in that context where they are and where they're going, uh, because it may demonstrate, I mean, if they're doing really, really well, I mean, that uh, your operation will get, you know, the right type of investment. I mean, if that company is buying you in order to acquire good financial performance, it may be putting a lot of pressure on you and that's relevant for the deal structure uh, that you want to agree in the end. You need to understand their ownership and their financial backing if there are investors involved. Uh, how many shareholders there are, uh, what's their share of the business, uh, if you're staying, uh, you know, would you become, you know, one of the shareholders as well? Will maybe some of your uh, managers become shareholders too? You need to understand uh, the culture of the company. You need to understand if, that, if, if, you, if you have compatible cultures, because if the companies have too far apart cultures, uh, it may create uh, a lot of issues uh, during the post-merger integration and it may create, uh, you know, staff attrition even. And it may even create the desire not to want to stay. So the thing is, the culture is not talked about very often, but it's a very important point. I mean, and you have to, at the very least, just put it in plain words, you have to like each other. Um, Finally, you need to understand the price and the deal structure expectations from the buyer. You, you need to understand if, they re if they're really prepared to pay at least what you ask for, uh, given you know, due diligence going well and all of these things. And you need to understand that you are seeing eye to eye, more or less, in deal structure expectations. Because if you want to go and they want you to stay, um, obviously, that's going to create, uh, you know, a lot of negotiation hard work. Uh, so knowing that in advance is, is the best possible place to start a negotiation before signing a purchase agreement. And you need to understand the deal timeline. Uh, is the buyer in a hurry to close the deal? Because if they are and you are, you know, not so much. I mean, it, it, they may actually move on and, and look elsewhere. And if nobody's in a hurry, I mean, is there a deadline by which, you know, you're giving yourselves the, the, the time to actually close this? If the buyer finally seems like a safe harbor for your company, you need to set the right expectations from the start. Uh, you need to invite them to make an offer and not making them feel like they, they might be wasting their time. I mean, if you are not giving the clear signal that that's what you want and you need to assemble the right team of advisors. You need to have the proper legal advice. You need to have a good accountant. And if you're not sure uh, about things, you may engage, you know, somebody that has experience in M&A that has done this before and can basically uh, give you, you know, uh, the, the right input, you know, for the negotiations and everything that is to come. You need to prepare well for due diligence. That is, uh, buyers don't want to find that everything is all over the place and that they need to look for this and they don't find the answer to that. So they want to be able to go straight in and find everything that they're looking for so that the due diligence doesn't become a very long and frustrating process. And finally, keep your emotions in check. Uh, it is hard sometimes, it is, it is hard to answer question after question after question after question from the buyer, especially during the due diligence. But, you know, you would be well advised to, uh, you know, make sure that you um, don't lose the patience with it, that you, I mean, even if you're getting up in the morning sometimes and you feel frustrated or tired or everything is too intense, that you're finding the right uh, balance, you know, every day in order to see the deal through.